Hi, my name is Haley. For those of you guys who don't know, I am 25, I live in Florida, and I have two, soon to be three dogs. I have Ellie, she's currently three and a half. She is a Shepherd Collie Lab Mix. And then I have Joel, who's almost two years old, and he's a Newfoundland purebred. And then I have Bender, who's only four weeks right now, and pending his temperament test, will come home and hopefully train to be my mobility support dog. Um, Ellie was originally fully trained as my service dog, but she was too small. She's a mutt, we don't know how she's gonna age, and she has allergies. So we decided to get Joel. So Joel is a Newfoundland who was supposed to be trained with an organization. Unfortunately, the organization at seven months informed me that they were closing. When I went to Texas, which was a 14 hour drive, to pick him up, he came to me mal malnourished and unfortunately unable to walk or stand. I'll post some photos and videos right after this. So as you can see, we had to overcome a lot. He is a great dog. He loves learning. He loves being there. He loves to cuddle. But recently he had a knee injury and we put him under to find out what was going on with his knee. And my doctor went ahead and x-rayed his hips and found hip dysplasia. While it's not a definitive answer, we have to wait till he's three to get a full diagnosis. We decided to go ahead and end his career now. I don't want to potentially hurt a dog by working him with hip dysplasia. So now we have Bender on the way. And Bender is a four week old Great Dane. If he doesn't pass his temperament test, we won't be bringing him home. Everything is all pending a temperament test, which we're hoping will come out perfectly. Bender is in Kentucky and we'll have to go pick him up, but that's a story for another day. Anyways, I hope you guys love my channel and I hope you stick around for a long time to come. I love sharing my stories and I love sharing my animals. So I hope to see you guys later on. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hi everybody, welcome to Bender's Days. We are doing a pup box opening. This is Bender's first pup box and Bender's not here yet, but figured we would go ahead and open his pup box. So for all of you who don't know what pup box is, it's a monthly subscription box, kind of similar to bark box, except it's PetSmart themed. So they have a bunch of um, information pamphlets for early bonding and teaching potty training skills because of his age. They also have some I have a recipe for frozen fruity yogurt pops. That's really cool. And then they have a list of all the things that are in it. We're not gonna look at it yet. And it's a cute little whale. Tough up, tough it technology. So hopefully it'll last for him. One little squeaker, but not bad. It's very cute. It's like a blue and a gray. I definitely like it. And then we have a little baby Kong. So one thing I found with the pup box is generally most of the stuff in here you can find at PetSmart or Petco. So it's a lot of fun. And then this is a smart pet tag. That's really cute. It says the pro proof is in the poop really cool it's from hallow I wonder if it's engraved on the back already or if I need to go get it engraved I don't know and then here's a little chew toy it's like a little ball and I'm guessing you can put treats in it and then a clean touch ink pad so I can get his paw print that's really cool I've never had one of these 
be really cool to get one on when I first get them home. It's very cute. And then a, backs, a bag of blue buffalo treats. The tasty chicken. The first ingredient is chicken. I love that. And they're just cute little soft, moist treats. It's a lot of fun. I'm super excited. I love Pup Box. It's just, there's there's so many cool things. Like a little pet tag. I wanna see what's in the back of it. Because, you know, BarkBox, it's always the same thing every time. You know, two toys, two treats. But this is just different. So unfortunately his name's not engraved on the back. That would have been really cool. But would have been probably fairly extra for the company. And then I figured since we're here, I'll go ahead and show some of the other stuff I have in his box of fun stuff. I have freeze dried treats. It's only three ounces, so it's not a lot, but uh, Stewart Pro freeze dried treats. It's just lamb liver. It's very good and healthy in my opinion. We were sent a cuddle buddy. Oh, Ellie heard that. Go lay down. Ellie, go lay down. Thank you. So this should be a lot of fun. I think um, I raised Ellie with one of these that was, I believe, pink. So it would be nice to have give him one. And then for Halloween, he has bat wings. So it should be a lot of fun. Take him on his first Halloween with a costume. And then we have daily vitamins for him to start out. We also have hip and joint vitamins. I have a few other vitamins I want, especially like fish oils and such. If you know of any good vitamins that you prefer to use, feel free to add them in the comments. Um, this is ProSense Multivitamin Solutions and um, I believe it has crude protein, moisture, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, iron, copper, manganese, zinc, and iodine. And then there's hip and joint, which has omega-3s, turmeric, root powder, sulfate, MSM, and uh, shrimp and crab. So. Hopefully between these, he'll be set, but we got a few more that we want to get for him. And then I have a training long lead that was purchased from a customer, and uh, I'm very appreciative of it. We're hoping to start teaching him recall basics pretty early, try to get that set in stone. We have bubbles. This was another um, purchase from... Um, pup box. It came in a birthday pup box for Joel and we never used it and um, I figured bubbles are an awesome thing to get the dog acclimated towards. Make sure they are background noise and that he's not going to try and bite at them. And then because he's coming home cropped, we got a bunch of vet wrap so that we can uh, do his ears funky colors. So we have a bunch of different colors of vet wrap. I'm very excited. It'll be fun and colorful and exciting. So we are picking up Bender on September 5th in Kentucky. We are driving 10 hours from uh, Florida all the way through Georgia, Tennessee into Kentucky, picking him up and then probably coming right back my friend Sam is going to be going with me. It should be a lot of fun. Long, but hopefully a lot of fun. I just wanna make sure we have everything here ready before he comes so that there's no chance of missing anything. There's no chance of scrambling to get something. We're picking up his food next week and um, we're gonna make sure we have everything here, everything perfect so that his first two weeks while we get him acclimated to our um, plan and our habits and we start socialization 
and exposure training that there are no hiccups of not realizing we needed something. The only thing we can't really get now is his boots. We have two training vests on the way that should fit him at different points and um, he should spring up like a weed super quick. So there's not really much we can plan out for besides that. We have a collar clicker, two training vests, and uh, we'll just take it one day at a time. I'm super excited. I'm hoping to document all of our process through YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. And hopefully you guys will be there to join us. And in case you don't know, our TikTok right now is Joel the Newfie 717. I don't know if that's gonna change to Bender's Days, but we might change it soon. And then my Instagram is Sewing with Paws. You are more than welcome to check it out there. Thank you guys, and you have a wonderful day.